sense. And the, the internet, I guess there's two ways in which the internet gives us clues. One is, um, it gives us ways to communicate that it, those of us who've been around for a while can remember you couldn't do before. And so it reminds us that society doesn't automatically give us everything we want. And then when the internet came along, we discovered new kinds of ways to communicate. So the internet gives us new ways to communicate that suggest we can achieve better forms of freedom. Mm. Um, but it's also an interesting kind of uh, object for thinking with about what freedom means. So for example, all the discussions about open source software and um, freedom on Facebook, I, you know, it may or may not be the case that being more free on Facebook is really a crucial goal right now in getting to a more free society. But the fact that people think about it, they get annoyed when an ad pops up or when they miss certain kinds of statements by friends because of the, the Facebook sorting algorithm. And so it's, the, 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 there's something about digital technology which is so present in our lives and just kind of lying around us now and a part of everyday experience that the little struggles there can serve as interesting objects for thinking about freedom more broadly. They get us to ask, like, who gets to make the rules? Who gets to decide who can say things and who can't and who can communicate? And how do we do that properly? How do we do that in a really democratic way? So, yeah, the, the, I think um, it's possible to be naive about internet freedom. I don't think there are purely technical solutions to political problems. I think political problems are political problems and need to be solved through politics. But uh, I do think that there's a lot of clues and interesting things to think about in association with what people talk about when they talk about internet freedom that help us, that can get us down the road mm. a little bit further. Excellent. What are some of the threats to internet freedom, briefly? Um, the, well, Threats to our freedoms. Internet freedoms. To our internet freedoms. What's the biggest threat to our internet freedom? Um, privatization. And uh, the... Can you rephrase this question and say that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what are the... What's the biggest threat to our freedoms on the internet? I would say it's um, taking control over the codes, the algorithms, the, the platforms on the internet out of public control and putting them in private control. And um, I think Facebook is a, the most famous example of that, kind of obvious example of that right now. Um, Wikipedia is an example of where that's not been done and where the control over the institution is still quite open and it's done on a nonprofit basis. And so I think if you want a kind of uh, alternative structure to Facebook. You don't have to look far. Just look at Wikipedia and think about what Wikipedia tells us about what could be done and uh, what Facebook tells us about what happens when you organize everything on a for-profit basis.